This podcast is made possible by supporters like you. Mahalo. And by Atlas Insurance Agency, Hawaii's largest professional agency, helping Hawaii navigate insurance solutions since 1929. More at atlasinsurance.com. Hello, Mike Kako. Welcome to a new episode of What School You Went. We start every conversation this way every week because that's what we do in Hawaii. I'm Ron Mizutani. Today we're going to be talking about opihi, the Hawaiian gold. When you show up at a party with opihi, you the man. Yeah. Uh, you know, I want to introduce a good friend of mine and reintroduce him. He's been on the show before. He's an old friend. Uh, I say old with all due respect, my friend, because you are, uh, you know, Still younger than I am, so don't you dare call me uncle. <laughs> Lanai Tabura, uh, joining in the conversation, he's a DJ, he's a comedian, he's a TV host, he's an actor, and definitely one of the busiest guys I've ever you know been around. And first thing first, what school you went? I went Lanai High School, home of the Pine Lads. Of the and Pine I went Lads. to HPU for one, one year. Volleyball. Yeah. Volleyball scholarship. Yes. What happened to that? They were trying to start an NCAA team that year. It didn't come through. So I ended up working with the women's team and then played club. But it paid for my school. Well, God bless HBU. Yeah. Back then they were known as the... What, they, they, were the sea, they were the Sea Warriors. They were the Sea Warriors. The sea Nahaku Warriors. Brown, mahalo Nahaku to you. Nahaku Brown. Yeah. Nahaku Brown, one of the greatest volleyball players yes, ever. ever. Her brother was yes. Paul Brown. Paul Brown, baseball player. Paul Brown threw one of the only uh, perfect games in UH baseball history. Really? True story. I was there. I covered that game. <clears throat> it was against Wyoming. Wow. Rewind the tape back to PAL days. Uh-huh. Paul Brown was a Pa'oa AC yes. ace. Yes. And he used to make everybody shake in their booty. I bet. The guy threw like a man. <laughs> Paul Brown. I used to tell him, dude, you intimidated us. I think we should have ID'd him back in the day. But <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, we, he we, was we, good. We digress. Uh, hey, let's talk Opihi, if you don't mind. Uh, I love uh, Opihi. Growing up on Kauai, it, it was... Uh, it was a rite of passage yeah. to learn how to pick OP correctly, yes. safely. Yes. No, no take too much. Yes. Take what you need. All the lessons Tutu taught us. Don't turn your back on the ocean. Right. You know, all of the things which you Very you're, dangerous. Very dangerous. People die for this. Yes. Your memories, your early childhood memories of OP. My grandfather took me on the backside of Lanai. We were fishing for Menpachi on a little boat. There was like four or five of us. And it was full moon perfect weather, and we were close to the shore, so they said, we're not catching anything, we go pick Opihi. So we got out of the boat, we were maybe only 40 yards, had the 40 yard swim, it was real close, it was shallow, and uh, I had a umbrella case, you know when you put your umbrella in that case, that long sleeve, mm-hmm. and that was what I, I tied it to my belt, I remember he gave me a belt, tied it onto the belt, and I would pick Opihi and put it in there. But it was one of the only times I can remember that it wasn't rough. Wow. One of the o- and it was pitched. Well, it was the it was a full moon, but it was dark, and we did it at night. And it was it was still scary to me. I think oh, I was yeah. in seventh grade. Wow. Maybe. Um, but I picked Opihi before, but I f- somehow remember I never forget that yep. that time because maybe it was with my grandfather, and the water wasn't rough. But every other time the water was churning. Yeah. You know, and it was more like I was with an uncle or with somebody older, and I went with them and helped them. Instead of, it was always, no, you stay here right. with the bag. Oh, I know that. You know that. what I mean? Yeah. And when you're a younger kid and they would go pick. Right. But, um, yeah, it was one of those things where as soon as you picked one, you had to eat one. Yep. You know, you, right there. You, you, well, you had to use the, the other shell. shell. Yeah, you had to <laughs> you use, use the other shell first. Shell and, uh, you, yeah. and you eat it right there. You know, that's that your memory of, of a childhood, a memory of, of picking opihi. I, too, remember watching the bag, yeah. you know, at Kalapaki Wall uh, in, in Umalu. And then the day my grandma said, Grab that knife. Yeah. You're up. Um, you know, I never forget that feeling of that 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 uh, butter knife wrapped in tape. Yeah. <laughs> so and, you wouldn't lose you know, it. So you don't lose it. Yeah. And I had tobbies that were way too big. Uh-huh. You know, but I felt like a man. Yes. You know, and, and you know, okay, we time it. She taught me how to yeah. time the set. You know, because back over there, what we picked was rough. Yeah. You know, it was very rough, but it was. Um, what side of the island is that on Koi? By uh, Nawiliwili, my okay. Mr. Now, the Marriott. Okay. So right, right there on the south. Number nothing now, yeah. I bet. Oh, no. Cleaned out. Clean yeah. house. You, you can't find OPH now uh, on certain parts bad. of the island. 
Yeah, we have some secret spots. You like t- the big ones or the small ones? I like the small ones. Me too. Yeah. Can it be too small? Yes. Because it has, a, you know, the limpets yes. have to be a certain size. But you know, I do like the big ones from the Big Island, the big yellow ones uh-huh. to put on a grill. True. Show you Tabasco. Yes. All day. All day. And, and for those, the bigger they are, because they can be a little bit tough. Yeah. Uh, you got to put those on the hibachi. Yes. Yeah. But uh, and back in the day, I don't know what you guys did in Lanai, but the girls on Oahu and Kauai, we used to... Pick the big opihi, uh-huh. shine them. Oh, man. My grandmother you, used to make us do that. The necklace. Yeah, you'd get a oh. file. Right. And he was like, okay, you, you, you're you not going Don't beach. Crack it. You're not going beach till you clean one. <laughs> right. <laughs> you'd have to cra- You'd have to cra- Yeah, my grandparents would make, uh, my grandmother used to make us pick puka shell. Yes. And then she would make puka shell with the opihi in, in the, the middle. Pillow. And uh, I never saw that after high school. Yeah. I never saw anybody picking it anymore. I never saw anybody making it anymore. That's nostalgic. Right yeah, that's there. good stuff there. Yeah. Gosh, puka shells. That's another Hanalei experience. Yeah. That and when the paper shells came. Oh, yeah, like. yeah. But yeah, the, I can still remember seeing that big OP shell, shiny, yeah. on my uh, my aunt's <laughs> uh, neck as she danced hula at the old Kauai surf. Oh, but beautiful those shell. Those good memories. You know, um, we, we, we've lost many brothers and sisters who've picked OP yes. through the years. I mean, it really is a, a dangerous, uh-huh. death defying. Uh, You've got to know your stuff. You got to know your location. You got to know your limitations. Yeah. And, and some of the best of them have have perished. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why it costs so much. Besides the fact that it's it's rare. dangerous to get. Yeah. The delicacy. Uh, you know, I, I, it's interesting that you. You know, what are your thoughts on somebody who goes and does that? The, everyone that I knew that did it was like a waterman fisherman. Like they knew what they were doing. It wasn't somebody who didn't know what they were doing. So, to that. How interesting! They knew what they were doing, and they still got into trouble. That's how dangerous it was. Yeah, right. It put it into perspective. That's how dangerous it was. These guys knew what they were doing, and they still got into trouble. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised nobody has, like the um, abalone. Mm-hmm. Nobody has learned how to farm it, right? Or create a place where we should be creating places where you can't get it, where like no one's allowed to pick it, right? You know what I mean? Well, they've tried that in some areas. I know. You know the, the, but. You cannot, well, certainly the size of the OP here yeah. has to be a certain size. I believe it's a quarter uh, or, or something of that nature. Yeah, it has to be bigger uh, than a quarter. But, you know, people would just raid yeah. the land and, and just, especially during graduation season, yeah. forget about it. Getting OP here would be, it really costs you an arm and a leg. Yeah. I, I mean, went to Alicia's market about two months ago and they have OP here, you know, in a, and, and the thing was about this big, like a little container, like the kind you would sh- put ketchup in. Yes. And I, I think it was like, 15 bucks. Oh, easy. And there was like maybe it's like a dollar a piece. Yeah. <laughs> Two dollars yeah. a piece. Per pound know? Is, is like, yeah. you know, is like you're buying gold. Like, That's why they call it Hawaiian gold for yeah. a lot of people. Now, you've had the pleasure and the, the honor to work with the great Anthony Bourdain. Yeah. And yeah. you turned him on to a limpet. Yes. Tell me yeah. about that. I, and you, so, so he didn't, I didn't know it was called a limpet. He told me it was called a limpet. I said, this is OP. So we, um, you know, he's coming to your house. You got to bring all the stars out. We made poke. We did one steam fish. We did one fry fish. And then I did a poke with uh, opihi. And then I wanted to show him what opihi was. When, when uh, I knew he was going to ask. So I didn't put all the opihi in the poke. Um, what's his name? Uh, uncle, he, he taught me how to make this poke. And he had a Hawaiian restaurant in Kalihi. And I just forgot his name. Oh, Iva. Uncle Kinimaka. Iva. Uncle Iva Kinimaka made this yes. poke with, with opihi in it. Yes. And I loved it because he put lomi lomi salmon, ahi, and he put opihi in yes. it. It was like the ultimate poke, yes. right? So I wanted to duplicate that. We didn't do the lomi salmon, so I put some uh, opihi in this poke. And he looked at it, and I said, do you know what that is? And he goes, it looks like a oyster or a limpet. Or a, and I was like, well, what? And then he told, and I said, it's Opihi. And he goes, yeah, it's part of the limpet fam. Why do you say it? Lim- limpet. Limpet family. Yeah. And that's when I learned what the word was. I didn't know that's the official name for it. He taught me that. It's actually a Filipino word. Is limpet. it? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're so Lim- noble, my Limpet. Limpet, <laughs> limpet with one. Yeah, you can say that one. But no, yeah. So yeah. He, did he enjoy? He loved it. He, uh, so then we had some extra ones, and then he, I showed him what to do with the, uh, the shell. And he pulled it out with a shell nice. instead of using a spoon. Yes. And then my uncle, who was there, Uncle Derek Asing, made him a puka shell necklace with the opihi shell in it. Wow. He gave it to him as a gift. So if you watch the show, he's wearing it. No kidding. Yeah. No yeah, kidding. Pretty That's, cool. That is a very cool story, Lenore. Yeah. 
That is a very cool story. He instantly became the Poco Shell tour guide. Yes, That's and and he he loved it. He he said uh, it reminds him. I think he said it reminded him of a uh, a clam meets an oyster, or you know something like that. He has a little brine in it, mm-hmm. a little crunch in it, yeah. depending what kind of you know oyster you get and what kind of clam you get. It is uh, it's a delicacy. Yeah, I love it. Gold. I mean, it's gold. I know people who cannot eat that. I know a few too. And I love when they go to Luau's with them. That they can't eat it, I yes. tell them, grab for me. Me too. Grab it. Just grab <laughs> it. Right? That's the guys on the, on, the, on the Luau line that you go, just grab it. 100%. Yes, yeah, grab it. Don't say you know, no to don't nothing. Don't say no to that. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, but it is an acquired taste. Yeah. Um, because it, the texture and and um, you know, this is a, it, it can be a little seafood. Gosh, like, I, like eat, I like eat opihi now. You know, you, you brought up Uncle Aiva Kinimaka. God bless him. Rest in peace. Uh, incredible man. Great entertainer. Uh, but his restaurant in in Kalihi was right next to the old diners drive-in. Yes, right across. He, that was his specialty. Yes, that opihi mixed with the poke. Okay, and, yeah. and I told him one day, I said, Uncle, how'd you come up with this idea? Yeah. I mean, it's not no- novel. I mean, right. other people have tried it before. Well, it was uh, over a few beers one night, uh-huh. uh, and and he came up with that. But it became, uh, you know, when it came to his restaurant. Yeah, it was a must. It was a must eat. Uh, everybody ordered it. Everybody ordered it. Yeah, when we were in, when we were younger, when we just started learning how to cook and with food and stuff, I think it's because we were poor. You would have like we'd go to a party the night before, and then you would have extra poke in the refrigerator. We would mix all of them together. Mm-hmm. So that's what it reminded me of when I went to when I went to Uncle Iva's. Augie and I actually worked with Iva. We had a restaurant together in Pearl City. Oh my gosh! Called Lanai and Augie's Ukulele Cafe, and he handled all the food. So we, we became very close. And when I first had it and I saw it, I was like, oh, my gosh, we used to do this as kids. But it was accident. It was like just put all of it together, the lomi salmon, the poke, and whatever you had. Um, but then he put the opihi in it, and he made it something special. You know, uh, that was awesome. So we, I would go there twice a week oh, yeah. when he had the – in the Kalihi. In Kalihi, yeah. I'd go there twice a week just to eat that. I'll eat that with rice. And maybe one piece fried fish. Oh, he had akubon. Akubon. Yeah. Yeah. He actually uh, catered my my youngest's uh, first birthday party. Oh, really? Yeah. And nice. We had it at the Bishop Museum, and I, Uncle Iva, uh, he he didn't give the opi for the ohana. Uh huh. It was a little piece for me. Oh, nice. Uh, and then we, I never forget we, we had mac salad uh, in the cooler, and that never made it to the line. <laughs> so at the end of the party, I'm not kidding you. We had about thirty pounds of mac salad that we were giving out to the family. Really. Yeah, that was real plenty of love inside, and that was it. Just a <laughs> just a mac salad. That's your parting gift. That was it. Hey, take the uh, take the centerpiece. Oh, you like some mac salad? Yeah, one zip. But no opihis for them. Um, good stories uh, yeah. about opihi, uh, and you know when I look at the opihi today, and you know there's different types of opihi. Yes, right? and, and the color and and the Philippines t- and in all due respect, the, everybody's opihi tastes different. Yes, and if you go to the market now, it's hard to find Hawaiian grown yes. opihi, but there is Filipino opihi or or from Southeast Asia com- uh, countries, but it doesn't taste the same, yeah. nor does it look the same. We should start a campaign. What's that? Save the opihi. Save the opihi. Yeah. Like, we cannot pick opihi for five years. Right. Nobody, everyone has got to stop. Just nobody <sighs> pick opihi. Make it a law, you know. Or else, what's going to happen? It's like tuna, right? It's like the ahi and everything else. What's going to happen? We're not going to have, you know. That's scary. That would, you know what? That would be... I would, that would be a challenge, yeah, not impossible. It, it would be, but it's something that we need to think about. The black, or put market, them on, the black market would yeah. be something else, let me tell you. <laughs> put them on the endangered list. Right. We did, I mean, Hawaiians ate a lot of turtle back right. in the day, right? My, my grandparents fed us turtle right. in a stew. And then, you know, not I to heard it was a whole new experience. <laughs> <laughs> yes. but um, pam Ba-bum. Hey. Yeah. He'll be here next week. Tip your way down. Yeah, but it was one of those things where it was part of your, our diet, right? Yeah. And then we put them on the endangered list. Now we have so many. Now we have, now some that, people uh, would say too many. I think yeah. the sharks, that's why the sharks are exactly. coming around. Yeah. Um, but you can't just say, okay, everybody can eat them again. Right. I get it. Yeah. But opihi, you can do that. We should put them on the endangered list or something and save these things because uh, I'd like my grandkids to try it. You know? I should call Bill Isla. Maybe he can hook we us up. should talk to somebody we, about it. Somebody, somebody. I know people. Yeah. <laughs> We, we, they just hey, don't know me. <laughs> we, 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 we do a whole campaign of different things. Save yes. the OP, the Manapua truck. Right. What else? <laughs> Molokai bread. Molokai bread. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Uh, yes. No, I, I, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm grateful for all the lessons learned as a child yeah. uh, growing up, surfing, you know, yeah. learning about the ocean, subsistence, no take 
any more than yeah. you need. But some of my fondest memories were were of harvesting opihi. Yeah. Um, and to my when I was able to share that with my yeah. my sons, how to pick, don't turn your back on the ocean. Right. You know, my youngest, same thing, teaching him how to dive, don't take too much. Don't I, I think you what you, you said it a couple of times, I think the key thing is don't take, only take what you need. Mm -hmm. That's the lesson that we need to start yeah. sharing with everybody. Maybe it's not about not picking it for five right. years. Maybe it should be, the, the message should be, hey, only take what you need. The ahupoa, yes. you know, law. And or, or or you will face yeah face consequences right. I tell you though, I'll be honest. There are times when I would go harvest, and you just get tempted of because you, you're trying to outrace the wave. Of course, right. And so you see a yeah. upu pile, and you just start going with yeah. your with your butter knife, and yeah. you only got one shot. Yes, because if you've never picked opihi before, if you miss, yeah, they get kung fu grip. Right, right, and and literally they'll just stick to the rock. Yeah, along with the ama crab. But if you're going you know, and you, you're you just, can't you help can't help not. yourself. Yeah. You start picking stuff that shouldn't yeah. have been. It's it's the it's the discipline. Yeah, and you open your bag and you go, oh shucks. It's Somebody like, told me the other day that we're running out of uhu. That's true. Like, like we're we're shooting too much uhu, mm -hmm. and and we need to to hold back a little bit. But it's the same thing, right? If, you, right. if you're hungry or you're 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 fishing for a, a luau or your kids. One year birthday party, yep. you know how much you need in your head. Exactly, you're not going to go and say, "Okay, I'm going to leave some." Yeah, it's just not human nature. But we need to figure that part out. Yeah, no doubt know? about it. I mean, finding the days of finding those big op are, are far and few between. Yeah, uh, uh, a good friend of mine who used to go visit Uncle Boogie at yeah. Kalau Papa on Molokai, they could have access to op yeah. <laughs> that most other people couldn't. I wonder if there's still a lot there. Oh, there's choke. Is there? Yeah, but. Oh, yeah, <laughs> too late I don't know now. Why I just said that. Well, Shame nobody on can me. get on. Nobody yeah, can get true, there anyway. It's hard true. to get there. You, you, it's like I once did a story on uh, at Kechuan back in the day on um, where the Oama was running. Oh, oh. They, I felt the pissed. fisherman's wrath. They got mad at you. Yeah. Oh yeah, because what they did was why you tell everybody right, where it is. Right, right, right. And so I ended up doing a follow up. Yeah. And I asked my photographer just take tight shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take tight shots. Take tight shots. I'm not going to reveal. Right. Where the fishermen were getting their oama, you cannot, you cannot. And everybody, you know, everybody knows the water, or and, I know that guy's ankle. That's yeah, that's yeah. Ichiro's ankles, you know. Or, and you got to commend Molokai residents because I think they've done an amazing job of yeah. keeping people from not taking what they're not supposed to. Maybe they, some of them, have done it in a violent way, <laughs> but I'm glad that they do it. Yeah, I, I really am. Thank I you, Uncle Walter. Them. <laughs> Whenever I see it in the news, I'm like, good. Yeah, everyone yeah. should be protecting. You know, they're not protecting it because they want to keep it for themselves. They're protecting it because they want their grandkids and everyone else to be yeah. able to eat it, you know. Yeah. It goes with the fish, too. Hard for fine, uh, you know, uh, with your kumu and stuff like that now. Yeah. Well, you can't find them anymore, you know. Once My brother's a good diver. Yes. And he'll call me. like, oh, I get kumu. Like, I'm coming right over. Because <laughs> you don't get your, one, you know. Your house must be so fun to have supper at. Oh, my brothers are brothers. awesome. Divers oh, and God. fishermen, that's why. That's I don't do it anymore. Im amazing Chefs. Chefs, yeah. 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 So good to talk to you, my friend. You too. Good to talk to you. Next time, we'll, we'll talk story something else. Yes, let's do it. Yeah, you have your own parking stall already. <laughs> hey, Paolo, for joining us on What's Gooey Went. Until next time. Oh, yeah. What's Gooey Went is a PBS Hawaii production. Music by Taimane Gardner. If you enjoyed this episode, let us know on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and tell your friends. You can find us on pbshawaii.org and everywhere you get your podcasts.